has to educate it's me. It's just Vini. Vini Shai. Vini Shai. I will study it. Picture the best in human form with my photography. It's a hollow muscular organ located between the lungs. Hey, I'm Shaira Luna, and this is Bite Sized Open Kitchen. I don't do this ever, so I brought a sous chef with me, and I would like to introduce one of the most talented photographers of his generation, Mr. Arthur Napomaceno. <laughs> Insert clap hands here. I'm just here to assist here. My name is Artu. <laughs> you can just call me Artu. That's all we need to know. Yeah, you can just look, look him up. <laughs> Today, we are going to cook a bite-sized classic, the binakol chicken rice. Okay, since we have no choice, let us start. <laughs> Two thumbs of ginger, like, okay. So that, that's the measurement, okay. so... The last time I was in the kitchen was probably maybe 10 years ago. So <laughs> Two thumbs. Well, I have been a big fan of Shire for a long time. Shangila Makati. And I was supposed to shoot a celebrity for a gala. The whole space was full of different photographers. And Shire came in and I, I literally kind of just froze <laughs> when I saw Shire. I was like, oh my god, it's Shire Luna. And I acted like I was cool and calm, you know? And Shire was probably one of the first ones to go up. Shire came down and when Shire came down and she saw me, she kind of sat down with me and I got a message when, when Shire was with me that uh, the celebrity canceled. So. Uh, Shire, kept, Shire kept in company, we had a nice conversation, and then and we just had like a really nice get to know you kind of process. And, uh, and that was yeah. it. I am equally happy to be his friend. So, as a friend, you should kind of tell me what to do with the, with the ginger. Two thumbs it's pretty. ginger, whole <laughs> smashed. So, by smash, do I. Two, how last do you year. smash? Two thumbs ginger, whole smash. Oh my god. <laughs> Would you shoot a burger? Oh, definitely. Would you slice ginger with me? Um. <laughs> I got my nails done for it. I ate. Oh, sure. <laughs> right, put it in a bowl. Okay, so now I know what two thumbs of ginger looks like. When I used to cook, I would chop onions with a fork and a knife. Did stab it? I'd stab it because I mean our hands are always in our faces when we shoot. Uh, that's right. I would get so distracted. I saw online a video where Come a on. professional chef puts a teaspoon in his mouth Maybe. and he just doesn't cry. Shire recently had a personal shoot that she did in my wife and I's home. In that shoot, I was able to assist her. I think a lot of people think like all the photographers know each other, but that's kind of a rare thing because like there's usually just one shooter. So we know each other by work, perhaps. That's a really cool technique. Fun. So we have a quarter onion chopped with a fork. This is why we are not on food shows or to... Mm. I'm, I I'm know busy. You have to answer these questions. I'm busy. I can, you know what, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we are now doing the three cloves of garlic. So I was in college when I was starting to explore photography. I was watching some of my friends in a band. So sa isip isip ko parang ganda kung masut ko yung ilaw sa stage. So it was as innocent as that. I was really just shooting everything. Umiiyak ka na, hirap na hirap ka na magshoot. Tapos may isip mo gusto ko palato. I just really wanted to take pictures. Like I was already in college when I decided I'm going to become a photographer. My late grandfather was a pretty well-known filmmaker, and he basically said you have to take photography. If a movie is a collection of a thousand images and you have to tell the story with that thousand images, then you have to be able to tell a story with a single image. That's been the journey so far. I'm sure we're going to be telling the story for a long, long time. Do you remember that time we had to guess on a cooking show? Yeah. <laughs> One bunch of sili cleaned and picked from stems. I have an insane in, bad habit of plucking. So kasama, this is like kasama. super therapeutic to me. Oh, this is so satisfying. Celebrities are so used to being in front of the camera. I like bringing my subjects into a space where they feel they can take off that mask. Always. I usually ask if they have a dog. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, and I think the key really is talking to them. If you're a photographer, you should be able to feel it. If you feel it, it's a lot easier to shoot. That's and true. shop. Cilantro. What is this? One table swim. Right? <laughs> you're, able to tell your, you're able to tell your story while chopping. And now we are going to season the chicken. Season and the chicken. It says here. In a stock pot on medium heat, pour half of the vegetable oil. It's so weird without... <laughs> Fire. And then ginger last because it burns quicker, right? Alright, the fire. So. Hey, sorry. Hey, this tomato is sick. Um, so, we are usually spoiled for choice, man, if there is. Chicken especially if there's a celebrity on set, like you get a lot of good food. We're adding the chicken ones right Dessert. Off. So yeah, it really depends who and what you're shooting. Um, so they always have baked salmon and they have like gambas. They just really try to feed everyone on set. I, I don't even know what we're doing anymore. In a bit, we're gonna add the rest of the coconut water and the tanglad leaves. If I had to pick a celebrity who likes to spoil their people with food, I'd have to say it's Mateo with the chili. After our shoot, he'll bring us to the Janis. It's great food. He's such a cool guy. 
bini mahilig kumain. Okay. Burger at the game! Burger at the game! Hey, look at that! Look at that! It looks pretty good! Oh my god, iconic, honestly. <laughs> That's 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 such a beautiful photo and that's such a beautiful cover. Um, as an emo girl shooting in the early 2010s, of course I knew who Fall Out Boy was. Their label and billboard. Um, Shai, are you available for shoot? Ganito? You don't really know who you're shooting, and then you see the deck, and then you're like, ah. <laughs> Sabrina Carpenter. Oh wow! Uh, this one from the creative direction to the styling, I picked the entire team, um, and then I got to create an entire mood board for this. So uh, I was just so happy she was game to do it. Oh, Sabrina, yeah. who's that? Beanie. Yeah, there you go. Beanie for their latest single, Cherry on Top. Everyone oh. prior to the shoot had been telling me, you have to shoot Beanie, you have to meet Beanie. When I was on set, I was like, they're the real deal. They have to sing, they have to do the music video, they have to look pretty in the shoot. Um, so this is actually my first group photo of Beanie. This will be super memorable and I'm so thankful to the entire Beanie team like for trusting me with this massive hit, which you should know. I will, I will. It's called I, Cherry on Top. I will study it. <laughs> We photographed Eddie Garcia. He was in my bucket list for a very long time. My grandfather used to work with him. After the shoot, I told the late Eddie Garcia that I was the grandson of Luis Napumasena and his eyes just lit up. I was so humbled and surprised to know that he remembered him. We created this lost space in Solaire. This is not a normal shoot for me. I feel like this is a kind of shoot that I would actually see Shaira shooting more. Yeah, but it looks like an Artu shoot. So like even if it's an Alice in Wonderland <laughs> theme, like you know it's Artu. <laughs> Ooh. While the pot is still on medium or low heat, remove the chicken from the stock. Chicken. Take your bowl of cleaned and soaked rice and add it to the boiling stock. So, trivia, I've never cooked rice. Ever? Well, Ever. I can do this. Answer course. that question. Uh, a life and career changing uh, opportunity. I really owe it all to, to Apo Wangod and her community and also the Vogue family. If she was going to become cover it, I would have to do my part. After I photographed her, I thought I did a terrible job. She came out as the cover and that, that just kind of changed my life. She's, she's the sweetest lady. I feel like she's the OG grandma that represents all grandmas in the Philippines. After we did the whole shoot, the first thing that she said was, let's go get tattoos. I got my tattoo. A lot of people have been asking about the red lipstick on that cover. She chose that makeup for herself. She was ready for her photo shoot. Shai didn't have the same answer to that. Still shooting. Yeah, still shooting. Yeah. She knows a lot more about the modern world than me. I feel like I get stuck sometimes. Like she has to educate it's me. It's just beanie, Artu. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> but you know what? Don't rush because it's having a beanie. And buhay ay hindi. Get it? Get it? First, learn how to cook. You gotta learn how to be, to have the lowest cost lifestyle in the beginning. How to learn how to and DIY? You gotta learn how to DIY. This is brilliant. Look at that. Look at that flagging. That's beautiful. Like, little nice spotlight effect. Yeah, and work with what you work have. Work with what you have. You'll actually learn a lot about your craft in the process of actually just experimenting. Cliche, but ang buhay hindi talaga talaga. Like, imagine I've been shooting since 2006. Like, nothing was overnight. Nothing was easy. And I didn't really study photography, um, so everything I really learned on the job, and you will make a lot of mistakes. It's always just a learning experience. Yep, National Bookstore is the first place to start. But only reflector because I'm rolling them in foil. My, yeah, my first reflector was an aluminum foil roll stuck on my illustration board. Yeah. Hey, ah, so it's a boat. Drinking, I'm still drinking pro milk. <laughs> it is a hollow muscular organ located between the lungs. Like based on the photos, I think from early on I was more visual. I think that's the only use I've ever gotten out of that. <laughs> it was a weird like childhood, like a bit different from everyone else's. Being a photographer was probably the last thing that ever entered my mind because I was on my way to become a doctor. Doctor Shai Raluna. Yeah. Yeah. Doc, Doc Shai. Nope. Bini Shai. Bini Shai. <laughs> <laughs> I was 13 when I entered college, and then it was. Uh, I don't even want to share what I was doing when I was 13. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> I was only good at two things in high school, and that was basketball and making one particular Oreo cake. So I didn't really have any basketball opportunity. So I said, okay, I guess I'm going to become a chef. So I visited the arts building. I met a lot of really cool people. I joined the photo contest. I surprisingly won that contest, and it was kind of just that marker that I was like, okay, maybe I can do good here. So I, I made the shift. We're obsessed with the shooting, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. we know we're in the right place. Yeah. 
Mm. I think Bowden's is shoot. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I need this. Yeah. We need to shoot. He can't hear anything. He was no, so hungry. Super good. Yeah, like, super good. If you enjoyed this content, please visit R2Nepo on Instagram. And at normal Shire Luna, <laughs> at Shire Luna Wardrobe, Shire Luna Film, Shire Luna Archive, Shire Luna Sosa Portfolio. R2Nepo. To, to reserve anything that just type Shire for more fun food content like this. Like, follow, and subscribe to Bite Size PH on all their platforms. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs>